three, two, one, and hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist with me, Ninjas96. Uh, I do apologise for not putting out a video on last Wednesday. Uh, I, it's the last week of summer for me, well for everyone, because I actually recorded this as we go. Uh, so I didn't have time to record another video. I didn't want to be backlogging this series as much as uh, the Dragon Quest series. Uh, so today we're going to be playing with the Chronomalies. Uh, I've put this de deck together as a request. Well, uh, at, yeah, at request because it is one of the favourite archetypes of Mr. Someone. Uh, it is a going second deck. It's not super broken and it's not super optimised, but it's, it's, a, it's a thing. Uh, it's, we're going to give it a go. This one doesn't focus on anything. I think the kind of idea is to go Machu Mech first couple of tur first turn or two and then upgrade to Atlantis to finish off the duel but we'll see what happens um if I control a chronomaly so I almost have no choice but to start with mud golem that means I can then use crystal skull um if I can chronomaly technology. I want to be aiming for a level 5 this turn. So I'm going to pick Tula Guardian. And then use chronomaly technology. Oh, Nebra Disc or Gordian? Nebra Disc is a... Hmm. Right, I'm going to pick Gordian Knot. Gordian Knot guarantees that I'll be able to make a play next turn. Uh, we'll set that, and then we're just going to attack and play a bit slowly, I think. Uh, against 800 attack. Ugh. Oh, you just... Wow, okay. So 24 is what I got to be. I can get over it with Ryoku, but I'd rather. I, I like using that as a maximizing play to uh, like secure a kill. Because with Ryoku plus Machu Mech, it what triples the amount of damage I deal. Well, that's probably a lie. Definitely increases it by a lot. And he's got two new face downs to contend with. Okay. Again, not a great hand. We're going to go Gordian Knot. Then Gordian Knot effect to summon Skill Drain. Are you kidding? Oh, that's not good. I can still get the truly good. Alright, we're going to have to... Oh. What can I activate here? I can special summon Nibra Disc back. That's a thing. Doesn't help me much though. I'm gonna have to do as much as I physically can. I can decode, but then decode will still only have 23. Huh. And why can't I use this? Two face up monsters on the field. Oh, one of you says I can't use non chronomaly cards. Well, I've screwed this duel up royally. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna we'll, we'll be back. We're gonna come back. That's match what duel one of three. All right, we're going second again. This is good. This is good. We're, we're just gonna have to see see what happens. Uh, we've got Cyber Dragon and two Crystal Skulls. Not a great start. We're just gonna see what we draw. Galaxy Soldier would be really good here. Gordian Knot. Well, definitely summoning Cyber Dragon. 
I think we're gonna go for a three. I've never, I don't think I've ever summoned uh, the rank three chronomaly in this deck. Crystal Chrononaut. Once per turn, when the skull is targeted for an attack, you attach a material. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage you would take. That's not going to help if I am um, under skill drain, though. Let's see what we can search out. I kind of think I should be going at Landis. Next turn. I'll get the Nibra Disc, because that will get me a search. And the good thing is I have the Chronomaly Pyramid Eye Tablet, which means even if I'm under Skill Drain, I still get quite a hefty attack point advantage. Uh, and then I'm going to go Crystal Chrononaut, because it's a bit zesty that I've never summoned him before. <laughs> Crystal Chrononaut. Okay. 2100 attack. Can beat over the, the Rush Rhino. Oh, but if he has that horn of the Mecha Phantom Beast... Oh, it won't matter. I've got the Pyramid Eye Tablet. Mirror Force! Oh! Why is this so terrible? I can't even use that. Okay. Oh, can't special summon monsters except for Okay, okay. I'll survive this turn. I'll get my Nibra Disc, which will, at worst, let me search another Pyramid Eye Tablet. Why did I set that? Not a special summon. Start with Chronomaly Technology. Vanish a Crystal Skull. Just look at the top two of my deck. Select a card. Does it matter what card? Get that. I mean, the field spell would be nice, but Burn of the Mighty is going to absolutely hound Barbaros. And normal the disc. Search. Honestly, I think Moai. It's just a sp free special summon. I don't need it right now, but I need to, I need to get on the on the map. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Kill Barbaros. Or Rush Rhino. I'm gonna kill Rush Rhino. Oh, except uh, that was a bad idea. Well, live and learn. Bird of the Mighty is actually. A really good card against synchros. But a really good. It's really good in Chronomaly because of how much I need to modulate Pokeball's attack points. It's just ironic that you can't really use it in Xyz decks. Warwolf and Emergency Mirror. Oh, you've taken my Chronomaly. That's just rude. Oh, are you going to be able to kill me here? 14. Uh, no, no, I'm safe. I'm safe. Not nice that you've taken my chronomaly though. And he's starting to get his advantage out. I'm going to be really annoyed if I can't win a game here. Hmm. Can't use my Galaxy Soldier. So it's going to have to be summon Mud Golem, summon Moai. Kill my neighbor disc, bring the disc back to summon the castle. Yeah. Well, if that's going in defense, is there any point? Not really. Right, in phase two. Bring him back. Cute little smiley face boy. 1500. Actually, I could just defend with that. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Oh, my castle. My castle doesn't do anything defensive on its own, so I'm better off having both monsters for now. That's my analysis. Let's 
striker. <gasps> Synchro summon. What's he doing? A six. Vulcan the Divine. Well, it's not got much attack points. So I'm going to face a card you control when I first return them both to the hand. Okay, nice. There's much worse things you could have bounced there. Ooh, a jet. I can go for... Ooh. Do I... Galax? No. Summon the jet. Use its effect to scale everything up to level 5. Now slap down the tablet. Finally, we're getting some Machu Mech action. Using 1 and a 2. I bet he's got another mirror force. Okay, effect. So, Magic Mech is the kind of key component. I detach one material, target a monster whose attack is different than their original attack, then they take that much damage and I gain that much attack points. So, that puts me on 4,000 attack. Battle phase. See what happens. Oh, I should probably attack with Machu first. Kind of wonder if there's something I could have done to extend that further, but I don't think I, not not nothing I can think of. Yeah, well, we'll bring back the disc and call it a turn. So I'm gonna have to, he's gonna have to make a pretty significant play to overpower me now. Pot of duality is good for me because it locks him out of his extra deck. So he ha he's relying on whatever he draws and is in his hand. Taking a war wolf. Is he just going to defend with that? Face down monster. Uh, we already know those two face downs aren't going to interrupt me. Because he would have done so already. So, we're good. Uh, straight to battle phase. And attack with Machu Mech. Yay! That's one apiece though. So we've got we've got to win another fight. This is the decider. Oh, I'm good stretch. And then after this, I'll go through my deck list, uh, talk about some of the choices, and uh, it will be interesting to see if someone else, if you have, if you, yes, you, sitting on the couch down there, or the settee, the wherever you are, uh, it will be interesting to see if you've got a different deck list or if you question any of my choices. Uh, oh, I should also say that I did um, last weekend on the Bank Holiday Monday, I uh, streamed Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist for about half an hour. So if you were interested in, in Legacy of the Duelist content last week and you felt like you missed out, uh, go back and check that live stream. Uh, I think it was just called Bank Holiday live stream. Uh, I played half an hour of Dragon Quest Builders, uh, then half an hour of Legacy of the Duelist, and then half an hour of Smash. Those are the three games I played anyway. Uh, I'm going to take it slow. Just summon the Nibra Disc because I don't really... I can make a rank 5 play, but I don't think that's the best use of my time. Uh, grab a Pyramid Eye Tablet, sure. MST? Oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. Although, interestingly, uh, even though I get more points out of my tablet, I get 800 regardless, and from this I get usually four, four to 800 points uh, advantage. Uh, I can then double that with Machu Mech. So, for me, Bird of the Mighty is more powerful or more useful, but Pyramid Eye Tablet is just solid power. 
Uh, more importantly, though, it's a name. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's... You can only use one effect per turn and only once that turn. So I'm going for my rank 5 play. I'm going to go Gordian Knot, select the Chula Guardian. Torrential Tribute. Nice. Actually, that's good because I know I have plays for next turn. I can neither disc and oh, they recycle themselves, don't they? Well, simplified. Okay, so here's a lesson for you. This is now called simplified game state. Uh, what that means is that both players have splurged their opening hands, basically. Uh, he's done his opening play, I've done my opening play, and they've sort of cancelled each other out. Uh, normally, that means that in competitive, uh, one player has played all of their combo pieces and done all the negations, and the other player has picked apart the board, but in doing so, they spend all their resources. And uh, anyway, it's called a simplified game state because it's basically you draw a card, you play a card, you do something, and it's kind of quite an even, an ev evenly matched, you might say, uh, for the rest of the duel. It's quite nice for our our uh, third match. Oh, I don't have enough copies of Pyramid Eye Tablet. What do I want to search? I haven't done Machi Mech yet, so let's take... Where's my uh, field spell? Oh, it has to be a monster. Let's take a... Oh, I... The good thing about a simplified game state is that I've got these two set up. And as long as I've got these two, I'm always going to be able to overpower his one card combos. Probably. Uh, so he is then relying on drawing a trap card, basically. That will give him some advantage. Call of the Haunted might give him that. Because now, if he plays properly, he'll be able to exceed or synchro summon and break my field. Looks like he's exceed summoning. Acid ma acid golem of destruction, which is good for him. Uh, it's just a strong monster, but when it runs out of exceeds materials, um, it starts burning you. And because it has a rank, not a level, uh, Burn of the Mighty has no effect on it. Now, who? How do I play this? Mud Golem. I'm almost in two minds as to whether to play it out and try and stall that that uh, Acid Golem. Because I'm multiple of those per turn, so that's good. But no, I want to I want to finish this off. So summon my two Moai, Moai, a Moai, Moai. May as well bring back my neighbor discs. Oh, so that locks me out of using Ryoku, which is kind of a big deal. Or is it? Ah, let's just go for it. Machu Mech. Gains 800. Oh no, I do still overpower. Good, good. Machu Mech, kill Ask Golem. Oh, that is a heavy hit. Less late in the game. So, yes again, he did he did his power play with a couple of cards, and then I did mine, and mine was stronger, so and mine was stronger in fact because I kept these two on the board. Which saying it out loud sounds really stupid, but when you think about the way Yu-Gi-Oh is when you play a, a really big combo deck where t if you haven't won by the end of your first turn you're not going to win uh, the whole simplified game state uh, theory idea concept becomes a lot more obvious 
Uh, I can't win with one attack, which is sad. But we do win. Sweet. So I'm just going to show you the deck list. Uh, oh, I wish I could show you a bit closer up. Uh, we're going to sort by level. I feel like that's the best way of doing this. Uh, so we're starting off with our level 3s. Uh, Crystal Skull is really good. You can just... Uh, you discard it to search for a Chronomaly monster. And uh, that's, as you saw, that's how I can assemble the right cards in my hand. And it lets me toolbox between level 5 and 6, which I'll get to a bit later on. Uh, Gordian Knot isn't actually that great, looking back on it. Because all of you, most of your search power comes from having a monster on the field already. And because this is a normal summon trigger... You have to have it in your opening hand and have the level 5 in your hand. At which point you may as well just have two level 5s. Which I've only just stopped to think about. But it does also make it a lot easier to go for the, level, for the rank 6. And rank 4. And rank 3. Uh, so I think it's a, a really solid card. But it's not. it doesn't give you that much advantage. Uh, Aztec Mask Golem I think I only have one of, yeah. Uh, it's just if you have a chronomaly spell this uh, have you activated a chronomaly spell this turn you can special summon it It's a free summon, but it is level four Golden jet again. I only have one of these uh, But it helps you bump up your level fours to fives your level fives to sixes Mud golem I keeping in here because piercing damage is more important uh, It's more important for fighting AIs than it normally would be and as you saw, it's just a, it's just a solid, a solid guy. Uh, Nebra Disc is, I would argue, the best card of the deck. Uh, the fact you can s normal summon it to search any Chronomaly card, uh, that means it's always going to have at least twenty six hundred attack points because you will always be able to search out the tablet. Uh, you will always have your field spell live if you need it. And failing that, you will always be able to find to search your deck for a level five so that you could just slap on the field to exceed summon. Uh, then the following, Moai and Tula Guardian, they're just free summons of level 5s. Uh, they both have advantages and disadvantages. The good thing about Tula Guardian is that if you already have City Babylon, uh, you don't use up your normal summon to get a Chronomaly name on the field, which then means that, for example, Gordian Knot is live. And what's the other one? Oh, Nebra Disc, I guess. But that's why that's good. But Moai is much more versatile. Uh, Moai Carrier, I don't like. If your opponent controls a card and you control no cards, you can special summon this card. It's just not very good, I don't think, compared to the others. I'm playing one of Cyber Dragon. It's a free summon of a level 5. Uh, and because you want to go second anyway, because uh, most of your power plays revolve around your opponent already having a monster, then you might as well. Galaxy Soldier, I only have two of these, but you can discard a light monster, special summon it, and then search the other one. So if, you're, if your opening hand is Galaxy Soldier and two light monsters, uh, like Golden Jet, Crystal Skull, uh, I think these are Earth. Uh, Nebra Disc is light, Cyber Dragon is light. So it's an easy way of getting two level fives on the field. Doesn't happen really often though. And lastly, Chronomaly Soul Monolith. Uh, once per turn you can target a Chronomaly monster you control, its level becomes 6. This is how I get my Atlantis on the board. I can search it out with Crystal Skull, which means I have access to it whenever I need it. And more importantly, stuff like Gordian Knot, uh, free special summons of Moai and Tula Guardian means I can probably get this out when I need to. Uh, but against the AI, generally, I've either won or lost when I'm in the the mid game uh, of Machu Mech. Uh, normally they can't get over Machu Mech and if they can then Atlantis will finish them off. Burn of the Mighty got lots of play. It's not a very good card but when my pool is limited it's, a, it's just a good choice. Um, it almost always is, is live. Uh, City Babylon mostly good as a name 
and because it's field spell for Guardian. But also, uh, I can revive monsters from my graveyard by banishing a monster of the same level. Sometimes it's a pain because I have threes, fours, and five. No, yeah, threes, fours, fives, and a six. So it's not always live, but uh, Pyramid Eye Tablet, lots of just damage. Chronomaly Technology is um, a draw card. In most Chronomaly decks, you'd play it more because it means your Aztec Mask Golem is live. But it's okay. Uh, if I already have the, the Eye Tablet on the field, then it's something I can search off of uh, off of this guy. But it's not. It's fine. Ryoku, I don't think I used, but uh, it gives you a big power swing when using Machu Mech. Uh, if your opponent has, let's say, 3,000 attack points, Machu Mech has 24, you cut your opponent's attack points down to 15, and then yours go up to 39, right? So that's 2,400 damage right away. Then they take 20, no, then they take, what? They take a lot of damage, right? <laughs> uh, terraforming helps put City Babylon on the field. And Stonehenge methods I will take out as soon as I get some better options. Just replaces my chronomalies. Uh, when I'm in that simplified board state, that's when that becomes more relevant. And then the Xyz, uh Crystal Chrononaut, I uh, only summoned it that one time. Not super important. Uh, Chateau Huke is actually quite good. Uh, I can... Detach a material to drop an opponent's monster to zero. So if I can summon that and then uh, somehow go up into Machu Mech, then I'll get huge amounts of damage off that. Utopia, I have lots of level four monsters. If I'm in a state where four is the best I can do, Utopia is just a solid option. Uh, Adrius, Artifact Gerendal, Pleiades, they're, they're just good rank fives. Uh, Chronomaly Machu Mech, you've seen, it's an excellent, excellent boss monster. Uh, Volcosaurus, uh, spot removal. Gauntlet Launcher, I felt like I needed... If I, if my only option was to go for a rank 6 uh, first turn, then I wanted something that wasn't Atlantis. So uh, there I went with Gauntlet Launcher. Uh, Chronomaly Atlantis, we never showed this off. But when it's summoned, I can revive. Well, I can pick a number in my graveyard, i.e., Machu Mech. Uh, equip it, increases this card's attack by 1200, and then I can uh, di discard Machu Mech to half my opponent's life points. It's pretty good. It's just a high high attack points, realistically. Uh, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, is a rank seven, but I can put it on top of one of my other Xyz monsters, and it deals piercing damage. Uh, so it's a way of getting Mud Golem uh, sort of toolboxy and then decode uh, in case to very rare circumstance happens where I need two extra monster zones. I would like to, uh, what's the word, improve, streamline the deck enough that I can reliably get Machu Mech and Castle Huke out at once because those two together would be insane. Uh, but sadly, I think... Oh, no, I'm probably wrong. But I've I've not been able to do that yet with uh, Master Rule th th this one. Uh, so that's my deck. Let me know in the comments section below if uh, you have any differences of opinion. And if not, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. And if you would like me to do a deck rundown more often, then let me know that in the comments as well. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.